I'm going to be comparing things here to in um, Philippines. Hello. <laughs> Fit. <laughs> it's very different and Philippines people are way more friendly. Guys, I just had, I think, the best massage of my entire life. I'm gonna drive it today. Bye, make sure. Say hi. My stupid ass forgot my watch and was charging. And Fuck. So we have a really big problem. Um, I left my eight. I'm at 7-Eleven, so if you haven't heard, 7-Eleven is like, uh, what's the word, like super cool here. And they have a lot of different things, so I'm going to be comparing things here to in um, Philippines, 7-Eleven. The 7-Elevens are insane. Like thousands and thousands, but the problem is nothing nothing's in English so you don't even know you have to guess it's just incredible how much okay so I'm gonna take a bolt scooter um, just waiting for it to pick me up Kickboxing. Nice. I look you, but like uh, you. Fit. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? 20. 20? Okay, just black coffee. Yeah. Only right. coffee. Okay. No milk? No milk. Black coffee? Yes. Only milk. Two can I miss? Try salmon, and I don't really know what this is. Okay, we are now trying like a sticky rice. Apparently, it has banana and taro in it, and I love sticky rice in the Philippines. Anything with rice and like buto. So I'm gonna compare this one to Philippines. Mmm. Mmm. The rice tastes the same. The inside. Mm, it's good. Hello. Hello. Aww, thank you. <laughs> I get some chicken. I was gonna try some like pad thai or something like that, of course. But um, this chicken looks really good, and I'm not feeling the best, so I'm kind of missing my tenola from home. So I can tell this chicken that like looks really good, healthy. Give me some vitamins. This chicken's still coming. Perfect. Perfect, exactly what I needed. I'm uh, feeling a little under the weather, so I want some ginger, some soup. Similar to the chicken tanola that I love back home in the Philippines. Um, initial thoughts so far of Thailand. Um, the culture is very different in Philippines. People are way more friendly and they speak a lot more English. I'm here, nobody speaks English, so it's really hard to like ask questions and figure out anything. Um, yeah. Can't go to Thailand without trying a Thai massage. Guys, I just had, I think, the best massage of my entire life. Okay, we're here eating, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a rice cake, but it's not sweet. Getting some chicken. Yay, thank you. Alright guys, 
so I just had my first pad thai here in Thailand. It's really good. Um, just a couple of thoughts so far, like first impressions. I'm not a big city girl, so right now I'm in Bangkok and I already booked my um, taking a bus and then ferry to um, Copenhagen. So I still have like one more day here. I'm gonna do like the weekend market tomorrow. Um, but the food's really good. That's definitely the one thing that I like. But um, it's really hard to speak to the locals here because they don't understand the language. So it's really difficult when you're at even just the simplest, like trying to buy something. I find it's like really hard. I don't know what it is, trying to explain. Um, you, and you can't read anything, any ingredients. Like I have no idea what it is because there's, you know, but yeah. Good morning. Um, <laughs> I'm going to the weekend market here in Bangkok. It's the biggest market in Thailand and one of the biggest in Asia. Um, I've seen it all over like TikToks and stuff. It looks insane. So I didn't pack as much stuff in my suitcase. So hopefully I can bring a lot of stuff home because it's supposed to be cheaper. And it's about that time I need new stuff anyway. Guys, look at this. It's a pink car. They're matching. I'm gonna drive it today. You know, I actually haven't driven a car in a year and a half. Just press and hold? Yeah, it's already recording. Should I buy this shirt? I didn't even think. <laughs> Perfect. Hello. <laughs> this is her, her design. Offered me wipes and very nice. <laughs> so I just found like an indoor portion. Yes, thank you. And a cool down with a shake. It's so hot. Hello, so it's currently almost three o'clock. Um, I just ordered some food on Grab because it's just as cheap as going somewhere and I want to rest a little bit before I have to leave at 6. I'm going to Copenhagen. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's like a 16 hour bus drive. So I just want to relax a little bit, refresh before I have a very long journey to the more south part of Thailand. And yes, I'm going to have a very long journey down to the south. Um, and so far, like my first thoughts of Bangkok, it's really nice, um, but I wouldn't really want to stay more than the two days that I've been here because I'm not much of a city girl. Um, but I'm really excited to see what the South has and hopefully I can just recharge. And yeah, we'll see. Okay guys, this is what I this is what I grabbed to my house or to my hotel. <laughs> All of this, I didn't mean to order this much. There's like an ama egg and that's um basil chicken. See you later, Bangkok. We're going. You know what? I'll just tell you later. my 
watch that was charging and it's my Garmin watch. So I had to go back for that. I went on about halfway on this motorbike. It's so hot and so uncomfortable. And now I'm really pushing time. I have to be there at six. Fuck. Y'all won't believe what I did now. I took the freaking key with me. Now we're going back again. Oh my God. Stupid. All right, we're going. So we have a really big problem. Um, I left my ATM. I left my car in the machine and now it's gone. I'll explain later. All right guys, so it doesn't get much more <laughs> stupid than this. So um, recap what just happened, right? So um, I have to get to take this bus, well like another one that's coming to Kopenhang. And that's like, I don't even know, like 16 hours. But where I was, um, I was supposed to check out at my place at 12 and I had checked out but luckily I had met a friend staying there and she was staying longer and she told me that like she wouldn't mind if I left my bag in there and showered if I needed to stay later because we had gone to this market together and I was all sweaty and gross so I was able to shower and like stay there for a little bit so I was like okay let me leave about 4 30 just so I'm um, extra early just in case you know so I ended up leaving at like 4 45 almost 5 ish and then um, get on. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So back to the story. Um, so we get about. Uh, I don't remember, remember where I had left off. So uh, whatever. I, I called the bolt, which is like a scooter. So you have to take the scooter. And um, I have all my bags with me. Um, so I'm leaving, and then I realized like halfway that I was charging my Garmin watch, and this thing is not cheap. So I was like, oh my god, I cannot forget this. But I was like, thank God I have it. Uh, enough time and my driver was going really fast so I was like it should be okay so then he well at first he didn't understand I told him like that none of them speak English so I told him like I need to turn around go back he's like okay okay I was like oh he understood surprisingly that was easy of course he didn't he's driving straight I'm like no like finally re figured out how to tell him I need to go back so we go back and get, the, get my watch and then I had to grab the key again. I had left at the front desk and we were driving just thank God only a couple minutes and I realized I still had the key. I forgot to give it back. So I just went back, gave the key. And then I get all the way there and I have no cash left on me now. So the guy was asking, of course, for extra cash. I thought I would be able to just add it on like a tip or something, but of course I couldn't. So then he takes me to an ATM because I tell him I have no cash. Guess what I did? I left my card in the ATM and I left and then now I'm on this bus and I realized, shit, I don't even know how if, if I have time to go check and see if it's there. I sprint, I go there, it's not there. And it's the only card I have left. So I hope I have enough funds to last me for the rest of this week and a half. I don't know how it's gonna happen. Um, we'll figure it out. And yeah, and now I just sat down on this bus and then another thing is I realized I had forgotten my AirPods in my bag and my bag was one of the first ones put there. So I literally crumb, I, I had to be annoying and tell them, I'm sorry, I forgot something. So I, this is like a 16 hour bus ride, so I need my AirPods. So I crawl my ass down there and I was like, <laughs> get the headphones. Oh my God. Oh, and then that number thing, and then I guess what? I can't even call my bank because my, uh, my local number right now is a Thailand SIM card so it only since my bank is in the Philippines it won't let me call because I don't have my Filipino number right now it's a mess 